Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at a mechanical mod, 18650. It's made by Vira Mods out of Turkey and it's called the Kylon. That's probably wrong. I'm sure that you can all run off to the comment section and tell me how it should be pronounced, but uh, for the duration of this video, it shall be called the Kylon. Uh, I'll cover pricing and all that at the end when we have our summary, but uh, you can get this custom engraving on this, and I think you can get custom names in the leather sleeve. Uh, they'll do Cerakote finishes on it for you as well. Obviously, all those prices, you'll have to contact them direct for and find out how much all that is going to cost on top of the standard device. Uh, now, strange one. When you get a mech mod, they normally say, this mech mod, you can fire it down to 000, zero point whatever. Uh, this one is targeted at mouth to lung users. You do not go below 0 0.2 ohm with this or you will get a very, very hot button. Uh, this is for mouth to lung builds and I'll cover that more at the end. But right now we're going to do some close ups. Now this is how my one arrived and, and it came in a, a little hessian sack with a virus stamped on the outside there. And we have all these little bits going on. Now I'm going to move everything out of the way and uh, we'll just start at the very beginning. Uh, because I, I've not opened this, I didn't want to open this until I actually did the review. So uh, let's have a look and see what's inside here. I can't get, I can't get in the thing. Oh hell. It's very pretty, but when you're an absolute ham-fisted idiot, um, yes, okay. Will this slide off? Will that be easier if I just slide this off? Yes, we'll just slide this off. Here we go. Okay, so we have some information here. I can't read that because it's upside down, <laughs> but it looks like we have serial numbers and we have uh, user instructions and yeah, it's all going on here. Just reading through this and having a look, it's strange. The only thing it doesn't say is um, what direction you put the battery in. Uh, I mean, there are good instructions, don't get me wrong, they are a bit in um, broken English, shall we say, but uh, yeah, it would have been nice if they said what direction the battery should go in. You do get a tool, uh, this is for removing your, your battery cap, um, or your hybrid 510, whatever you want to call it, you know, if this gets stuck, you know, you can use this little doohickey thing here and you can unscrew it using this. So if that ever gets welded to your atomizer, just stick them in there grab your atty and twist. We have a, a firing button, we have our button for the bottom uh, and it has the logo on it. And you turn it over and you can see that we have a magnet in here because this mod operates using magnets. We have a little contact here. Uh, now the, the magnet in here, this is going to stick to the, I've been put it on the negative for my battery, but you can actually pop this out. They do give you a, another battery with it. So you can see they've got two there and <laughs> these are going to get stuck. Uh, so you can actually adjust the throw. Uh, so depending on the length of your Atti 510, uh, you can change this out so you can have a shorter or longer throw. For me, I'm just going to take that and just push it in there like that. And there we go. The tube itself is 304 grade stainless steel. And you can see down the bottom, there's no threading down here. This is where your button just drops down inside here. It'll sit here. We have threading up the top. You know, this is where your 510 is going to go, or your hybrid 510, whatever you want to call it. Now this is about 76 millimeters in length and it is a 22 millimeter diameter mech mod. Now it isn't just the tube you get, you also get a leather sleeve as well. And uh, it will have, you know, the logo here for the company and they also put my name on the sleeve here as well listen this is this is a nice little sleeve this it, it's uh, you know no issues with it. I'll talk about this more in a second now this is something I have to point out uh, your battery wraps are really important on this if I put that in there I can that's it's not moving freely uh, so I cannot use this battery in this device Got another battery wrap here, and yeah, that's that's moving in and out there, no problem at all. So we'll use this one. I should actually say, before you put your switch in, what you want to do is drop this on the base of your battery and make sure that you've got the polarity set right, so that right now I can feel that there is a resistance there. If I turn it round and put it that way, then this would just stick like that, and that is not what you want. So reverse the polarity on this, 
make sure you've got a resistance and then drop the switch in. Nope, actually that's not going to work. Look, my battery's just getting, that's not moving freely. My wrap's just a little bit too thick at the top there and it's getting caught in the neck. So that one won't do either. I need to find a battery that, that hasn't been rewrapped. Right, here we go. Found a, an amp king here. We'll, we'll try this. So popping that in and yeah, that's better. It has to move freely like this. Don't use any other battery unless it's like that. Then going to grab my Atty, got my 510 here. It is insulated here. So that's a, a thumbs up on that. The fact that they've put a little insulator in there. So just thread that on. There we go. And then I can just screw the two together. That's me. So here we go. Fire the mod. It does fire no matter where I push this. And it does have a short throw here. Uh, but once again, uh, you know, if you did have a really long throw for whatever reason, you could change out the magnets and the switch there. Uh, now, taking the leather sleeve, I can pop that on and it is tight. It's a tight fit there. And sometimes after, you know, using it for a while and I'm pushing the button, I do find that the mod rides up a little bit and this happens. Um, I was talking to Steve from Heart Leathercraft. And he was saying basically, if you want to keep the sleeve on there and make sure it, you know, it's going to be really tight, uh, just you know, wet the sleeve, you know, just soak it in water a little bit, stick it on the mod, and it will constrict and it will be a lot tighter on the device. I should say that you know, once you've got the sleeve on here, this does actually take it out to 25 millimeters. Uh, so a, a 25 mm atty on top is going to look just perfect, and also you'll have, you know this will stop riding up because it will be hitting off the atty. But sleeve off and, and there we go. That's uh, the Kylon by Vira Mods. Now I'm just talking to the guys just now, just clearing up the pricing and so on because going to the website and I'll put a link in the description. It just says 150,000 or million trillion Turkish Lira, uh, but apparently it's 80 euros. Um, the website just says bank transfer um, and I put a mock order through and it just says bank transfer but according to the guys they do PayPal and they do Western Union which just pay by PayPal please uh, <laughs> that way you're covered always use PayPal um, and goods and services you should always do that anyway so 80 euros free worldwide shipping um, you may get hit with customs fees if it's coming without with the EU into the UK so remember that one now this is strange this is really strange this one uh, I'm going to say presentation the way it looks and all the rest of it I like it I do like it with the leather sleeve I, I, I think it's it's kind of bonny it's I do like using it with the sleeve. Um, the the actual styling on the mod, you know, it, it's this is and the switch. I, I have to be honest. This this could have come from two thousand and twelve. It's it's nothing you have not seen before. This is a twenty two millimeter eighteen six fifty mech mod. It's got magnets in the switch, and it's we've seen it before. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, because it's just as simple as simple can be. Um, I've no issues with the threading. Um, um, the presentation is nice. You get a spare magnet. You get a nice little scroll. It's got instructions on it. It's, it's got the leather sleeve. And yeah, it's nice. But the strange thing is, is that that switch, and they do state this, they, they, they said it via conversation with myself, that this is, um, this is for mouth to lung builds. I, I they say don't build below 0 0.2 ohm because the bat, the button will get warm. Um, in my humble experience uh, with this thing, if you're building below 0 0.4 ohm with this thing, the button will get warm. Um, this is this is just for mouth to lung in. This I would 0 0.5 ohm and above would be my advice for this one, and that's really strange for a mech tube in this day and age. I can't take away from the presentation. I can't take away from the way it looks. It fires every time. I mean, really, I can I can knuckle fire with this. No problem. I love that. Uh, it's it 
no issues at all. The performance seems to be there as well. But it's just, I find if I go below 0 0.4, then I, I do, and if I'm not chain, I don't chain vape, but if I take like three hits, uh, then I find the button getting warm and, and that's not good. I know they say that it's for mouth to lungin, but I just can't wrap my head around the fact that a mech mod these days is, is like that. This is an old design. It's very pretty, but this is bloody hell, this is an old design. I, can't, I, can't, I, I am not somebody for, for bashing mods or being negative just for, for the sake of views. Uh, but as, as pretty as this, as nice looking as it is, uh, it's a very, very simple mech. It's, I, I do think that there are far better mechs on the market for this price point. Sorry. I'm sorry, Vira Mods. Um, I did contact them and I did say to them, I, I gave them my concerns and they did come back and say, go for it. Just be honest as you always are, do what you do and take it from there. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I like it. I think it looks bonny but I just wish that the, the design was just a little bit more up to date. And that's it for the Kylon from Vira Mods. Um, thank you to the guys for sending this on. I did get it free to review. Thank you for being, uh, for the Vira Mods guys, for being so upfront and, and letting me do my thing and not not throwing their toys out the pram when I pointed out negatives. Uh, that, for me, that says a lot about them as a company as well. But to you, as always, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.